to have acknowledged that in the Old Testament it shows that God requires the shedding of blood for the remission of sins. As a prophet, did Muhammad agree with this? If not, why not would he disagree with God's law? If not, then why not he would be disagreeing with God's law? This is the question to Osama. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Enforcer. Um, okay, well, basically, uh, God Almighty in the Old Testament, as I demonstrated when he uh, denounced the Jews, that he did change his position on them. Uh, my point is that God Almighty does change. Okay? And uh, even the Christians believe that uh, God changed that through the blood of Jesus Christ. So Christians also are not obligated to kill lambs or sheep or anything. So basically... Uh, the, point, the answer is we're not obligated to follow the Jew, everything in the Jewish law. Uh, we respect the Jewish law, we honor it, and I wish if we have all of it, you know, where I would glorify it just as, as much as I do with the Noble Quran. But, unfortunately, uh, we don't have it, and even if we had it, we're not obligated to follow everything about it. Um, I hope this answers. Thank you. Um, I'm just amazed at what he just said. He says, we're not obligated to follow Jewish law. You remember in the debate he said that Islam follows the law of Moses? And now, in a matter of half an hour, he just contradicted himself. We're not obligated to follow Jewish law. So again, you're being inconsistent, as I've been accusing you all night, and you have no defense for it. Secondly, you said that Christians don't follow the blood. The reason why we don't follow the blood is because Jesus perfectly fulfilled it. Perfectly fulfilled it. It's on tape. They'll hear you say it. So we'll see who's lying, Osama. All right? And notice that Jesus, the Lamb of God, fulfilling the Old Testament sacrifices, has consummated it. So we have the blood. We have the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. Islam has no blood. It contradicts the Old Testament of Moses and the New Testament revelation of the blood of Jesus, the Lamb who washes us. So all the New Testament perfectly agree that the blood is necessary for salvation. Islam contradicts it because Islam is false. It does not follow the revelation of the true prophets. So don't misquote scripture. And then you say God changing his mind. What do you do with Nasikh wa Mansukh, the abrogated verses of the Quran? If anyone's changing their mind, it's Allah in Islam. Debate me on that. Anyway, next question is from Muhammad in the Bible. Go ahead, it's directed to me. And after Muhammad in the... Wait, I'm sorry. Was it Okay. Yeah, Muhammad in the Bible. After that, it's free mind. Go ahead. Okay, thank you, Islam. Actually, uh, regarding the, the prophecy of the Roman, that uh, uh, Allah prophesied in the Quran that the Roman will be defeated that they will defeat the Persian within three to nine years and that's a verse in the, first, uh, verse in the Quran this verse was revealed seven years in advance and the Roman uh, of advance of the uh, uh, of the victory of the Roman so it fulfilled the prophecy so therefore Muhammad is a true prophet and if you do not believe me you can check this website thank you yeah but it was within seven years it was seven years in advance that verse Muhammad in the Bible you're asking a question or are you making a statement please come up to the mic you are not rebutting answering Islam you're up there to ask a question so go, you got the question okay no problem sorry about the red dot I thought you were go ahead answering Islam it's uh, your uh, rebuttal period or your response sorry go ahead Okay, I got the question, or what was supposed to be a question. Muhammad in the Bible ignored what I said, but the documentation will be on, on the paper. Number one, show me from that passage, Surah 30, 20, 30 verse 2 to 4, where it says that this is a prophecy that took place seven years before the Romans were defeated. That's first. Number two, show me from that passage where it says the Romans defeated, I'm sorry, where it says the Persians defeated the Romans. That's two. You didn't hear what I said. The passage says the Romans were defeated in a, in a land close by, and in a few years they shall be de uh, victorious. Who defeated them? The verse doesn't say. Where they were defeated? The verse doesn't say. And you failed to note that I said that if Allah is giving a time, why does he guess a few years, three to nine? Can't he tell you the exact time? Three to nine, year, nine years is not the exact time. That's an ed educated guess. Furthermore, when you do go outside, when you do go outside the Quran, then you are in trouble. Because according to secular records, the Romans were defeated in 614 A.D., but the victory happened 627 A.D. in December. 
This is Encyclopedia Britannica as well as Yusuf Ali who tries desperately to avoid this gross error of fact. But either way, you stick with the Quran, you got troubles. It doesn't say who defeated them, where they were defeated, and when they were defeated. Go outside the Quran, it's a false prophecy. Muhammad failed that test, I'm sorry. The proof will be in my articles. It's there. And we've also refuted Osama who tried to defend that. Go ahead, Osama, you got a minute rebuttal. Actually, um, my, the article um, on my site uh, proves what Brother uh, Prophet uh, Muhammad, in, uh, Muhammad in, in the Bible said. It was seven years. Uh, I, don't know ex I don't remember the exact details of it right now off the top of my head, but uh, it's on my website, and uh, it's in the prophecy section, and uh, I'm, I'm going to post a link here after I finish talking. And uh, basically... Um, you know, I'll, I'll look at your rebuttal and I'll I'll try I'll try to refute it if it's worth refuting, and uh, we'll just take it from there. Okay, uh, the next question is directed towards Osama. Um, free, I guess, free mind was next. Free mind, uh, is your question towards Osama? Uh, free mind. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Um, how's my mic? Can anyone hear me? Okay, great. Um, Osama, this question is for you. Um, how, how could Muhammad be a prophet, having lived 40 years of his life, uh, an idol worshiper, okay, and then in a cave um, some years or some months after being in that cave, he, he gets uh, this uh, angel, so-called angel, that freaks the heck out of him, okay? He runs to his wife, who was uh, from a Christian background, and he tells her about it, and he gets, um, she confirms that this is an angel by putting him from one side to another side to in her lap to basically strip him down to naked until the angel left, and she confirms that this is an angel of God. How could a man like this be chosen by God um, not know that this person is an angel? And when we see in the Bible, when the angel came to Mary to tell her that she's going to bring the Messiah that who will save the world, um, how, how um, peaceful that was in contrast with uh, how the angel appeared to Muhammad and, and the life of him and doing all that stuff that Brother Answer in Islam had uh, pinpointed uh, from the in immorality to the killing to, to all that stuff. How could this person... I'm sorry, free mind. Uh, I had to die you. The time was up. Uh, Osama, did you get the question? Osama, did you get the question, or do you want me to just have him phrase the? Qu okay, you got it. Sorry about that, free mind. I gotta, I gotta keep it quick because it was a one minute, uh, up to one minute limit. Go ahead, Osama. You got two minutes to uh, respond. Thank you, sir. Um, basically, uh, to the sir, to the gentleman who asked the question. Uh, you, really, there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing bad about this. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, got scared because it was his first experience. And just because it's not documented in the Bible where a prophet got scared, it doesn't mean that he didn't get scared. Okay. Just like uh, the marriage of a nine-year-old uh, girl, if it's true, um, you know, in the Islamic uh, uh, text. Um, Prophets of the, of the Bible married hundreds of women, so it's possible that one of them was nine years old or even younger. Anyway, so as far as Prophet Muhammad getting scared, it doesn't mean anything. As far as bloodshed, this is all lies. Okay, these are were all wars imposed upon Muslims. Islam is a religion of peace; it's not a religion of wars. But uh, the pagan Arabs wanted to fight, and uh, they fought, and this is where the battles happened, and this is where jihad comes in. Otherwise, we're peaceful people, more than Christians themselves, actually. I hope this answers the question.